positive thoughts and ideas, trying to be helpful, going beyond your area and extending your hand to help somebody else in need, sharing thoughts and ideas, positive feedback, all good. On the other hand, we've all experienced people who are just plain nasty, who are entitled, who believe the rules do not apply to them, the policies do not apply to them, that they're above us all, who will cross over between lanes of responsibilities as if all of those areas are their own kingdom or their own empire. How do you deal with people like that? And I ask because I've dealt with individuals like that in the past in different ways. I always try to approach them one-on-one -on -one in confidence, close doors, and say, look, I've noticed that this and this and that is happening, and I noticed that you are doing one, two, and three, asking you to please stop that or don't do that anymore, because here's how it impacts my team, our operations, our project portfolio, strategy, funding, uh, unity across the business, across the organization, whatever the reasons may be, right? Here's what personally irks me about it, and we're supposed to be friends, colleagues, and partners on the strategic journey and both operational responsibilities and tactics. So please, could you be more mindful when it comes to one, two, and three, right? That is always my default approach. And if that doesn't work, I document it then via email that, you know, hey, per our conversation last week, I understand that this is happening again. Could you please... Uh, make the following adjustments if you don't mind, right? At the same time, I try not to get my own hands stuck in their areas and tell them what to do and how to manage and lead areas, right? Finally, in rare cases, there's going to be a need for public address, so to speak. Whether that is across the leadership team, across the management team, in a meeting, or whenever. I have, at times, been very direct with individuals. After we've met in person many times, we've exchanged emails, we had phone calls, and we've explained why this particular way of doing things is not beneficial for us all, and they chose to ignore it, and perceive their way anyway, right? And pursue their own selfish agendas. At those times, you have to bring them back down to their swim lane publicly. And I'm always trying to avoid doing that, but every once in a while, an individual comes up who may not understand anything other than a public address, if you will. So my question is today, how do you deal with people like this? Or is there anything else that I've mentioned that I haven't mentioned that you have tried that worked for you? Because same way I'm sharing what I know and what worked for me over the years, I'm always interested in learning what works for others and to see if there are ways for me to incorporate those things um, into my own responsibilities, strategies, tactics, and so on. So. Please share your thoughts on how do you deal with people who are your peers and are all over the place. They have their own issues to address in their own division, department, area, function, vertical, but yet they're in everybody else's business all the time and not in a positive, helpful way, but actually just plain disruptive, nasty, backstabbing way which I tend not to tolerate. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And once again, and most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below on how do you deal with people like this. Have a great day.